it in and reduce the back end of this deficit. That's what we should be doing. Amanda, what are you doing today to cut government spending? What have you done with your day to do that? I always ask you that, and what have you done? I'm going to cut your salary and start right there. <laughs> the thing is, you know, even those of us who think corporate taxes should be lower, that the, the economics of it makes sense, in the middle of a recession, it's hard to stomach because you just saw what happens when your corporate tax receipts plumble, pl tumble, 59, tumble 59%. You lose a heck of a lot of money. In this case, almost a billion dollars. You think it's better to have government officials doling out printed money and putting it on your back in the future? You think that's efficient? Do I want to go to a hospital run by the government or run by a corporation? I'd rather go to one I rest run by my the case. government. You want private medicine, Amanda? No, it. I just my the answer to that is I'd rather a government run hospital. But well, that's my choice. So you can have a different choice. There's no I'm right or wrong I'm just saying on that. I make the assumption. Shoot me if I'm wrong. That every third of every dollar spent by the government is completely wasted. And I think you agree with me. Who has a gun? Anyone have a gun? I don't have a gun. Uh, let's talk about Walmart today. We were waiting for, I'm just joking, I'd never shoot you. Uh, we were waiting for the Supreme Court Even of Canada. Even if you shoot me, it won't solve the problem. And the bullets would bounce no, off no, you. No, no, I'll split it in two. I'll think. split in two and there'll be two guys here. <laughs> oh, heavens. Next step is the guys who are owed the money have to get out the whacking stick and fire more people to cut the overhead. Listen, this is a business that was run into the ground. Yeah. And in bankruptcy, that's what happens. You have to manage it for cash flow. Get the whack and stick out, Amanda. You're going, I'm going to have people lining up for the guns today with you. Don't You're shoot the messenger. Crouch. I'm the merchant of truth. The merchant of something. I do promise. not want to put any legislation in place that makes us less competitive globally. We need to have the same playing field as every other competitor. Well, you can also globally. lead sometimes morally and ethically. That's not a terrible thing to do. The moral and ethical demands of a business are to win and create more market share and more profits for shareholders. Never forget that. Don't even think any other way. It's evil. You name it, I encourage them to do so. I think that's part of what our book is about, is getting people to think whether or not they agree with everything we come up with. Stephen, it's great to have you here. Thank you. Thank Stephen, you very much. Stephen Levitt, the author of Super Freakonomics. All right, coming up next, Kevin's My Money. Today he's making a, actually, we should let you respond to this uh, Super Freakonomics guy. Uh, you do believe, actually, in some of these alternative methods to reducing global warming, right? Actually, I'm, I'm not worried about global warming. I think we need some more, we need some global warming. Go in Calgary sometime in February. I'd like it to be warmer there. I would actually like to see summer in Muskoka probably extended by two more months. Dude, come on. Think I'm what serious. I did to Sub-Saharan Africa. You know Africa. what? I've worked Forget some... Muskoka. Think Sub-Saharan Africa. Be serious. I'm telling you, Amanda, I've worked with some people in this space, and there's a lot of controversy about whether we're cooling or heating. There is. So I let the market solve it. All right. Sometimes you just leave me speechless.